Now just because a fill is easy or beginner level, that doesn't mean that it's not good or extremely valuable. It just means that it's fairly simple to pull off. But I would argue that some of the greatest fills of all time are beginner level fills. They're just played with absolute confidence. So let's jump on the kit and learn some beginner level fills. What's up YouTubers, hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic and we will be learning that fill and two others today. And over the course of the next few weeks, we're gonna be learning a bunch of fills that I would consider to be beginner level, intermediate level, advanced level. But I don't think that that makes them progressively getting better or cooler because in all honesty, I use a lot of beginner level fills in my playing and so do all the pros that I know. Honestly, when you play anything simple with tons of confidence, it sounds pro. So let's get into this first one. This one's pretty simple. We got a little Debbie Boone towards the end, but in the beginning we've got one, two, a three, and four E and. So the fill itself starts on the a uh of two. One E and a, uh, two E and a. Uh. Then we go into a flam, open flam. That's three, a uh, three, and four E and. A uh, three, and four E. So let's try it over and over. Just gonna go one, two, a three, and four, e, and bouge, two, a three. Even though the fill is simple to watch on YouTube, you still need to get over to the drum set and try it. And you might find out like, dang, I can't get the timing just right. If that's the case, really slow down. Take on the subdivision. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Have that grid going in your mind. We're gonna try it with music now. I'm gonna pull up some country. This is uh, from Mike'sLessons.com. It's my website. If you ever wanna go there, we have tons of drumless tracks. So all the music that you're going to hear in this video is from our drumless track section. I'm pulling up a country tune at 88 BPM. Let's see how this thing sounds in music. Yeah, it feels like love. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Little sauce, little sauce, never heard anybody, Zach. <laughs> I do apologize for the sauce at the end. All right, let's get into our second fill. This is a classic when I was touring in the rock world. If you haven't seen that ever, never even knew that I was in a band. Yes, I used to tour a lot. If you know this one, I want you to help us out. This is off our record, Jumpstart. I want to see everybody up. Everyone, come on. I spy thrive. of my life, I use this fill all the time. It's incredibly simple, but it's a classic and it works. And all it is, is flam, kick, hat, kick, flam, kick, flam. So I always thought it as like SBH, 
snare, bass, hat, bass, snare, bass, snare. That's it. And it's a really, really good way to count a band in. All right, so let's try that nice and slow. It'll be one and two and three E and a four E and one and two and three E and a four E and. And remember, like I said, all of this, especially when it comes to these simple fills, all of this is about confidence. If you apologize with every crash, this will never work out, no matter how simple or complicated your fill is. If you go one and two, sorry, it'll always be lame. You have to believe like whatever you're doing, every note you play is cool. When you hit one single ride cymbal hit, it's cool. <laughs> you have to believe it. If you believe it, people will be like, oh, what was that lick you played? And you're like, oh, it's called a flam. If you just do that, people will lose their minds. Let's try this fill nice and slow, 60 beats per minute. Last time I'll say this, the fills are simple, but if you play them with confidence, they are so usable. You just have to really believe that they're cool. And once you do that, other musicians will be like, hey, thank you for playing a fill I can follow. It's not like I don't love. I wouldn't be able to play that stuff if I didn't love it, but when I'm playing with other human beings, I never think the bass player's like, hey man, is there any way you could do something that would fit with this? <laughs> That's not happening. So playing these little good black um doom or black and skin black and black, that stuff makes other musicians go, thank you. I can follow that. Not to mention the audience can follow it as well. All right, so let's try this with music. I'm gonna play with a little rock tune. Let's see what we got. That I wouldn't break. This will work. This is one that I use all the time, and what's great about it is you probably already know how to do this. It is just paradiddles, just single paradiddles. The only thing that makes it kind of original would be the orchestration. So right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. That's all we're doing. One and two and pair a diddle, pair a diddle. Two and pair a diddle, pair a diddle. That is all we're doing, but we're gonna go pair a diddle, pair a diddle. So the two times that we hit the ride cymbal, the downbeat of three and the E of four, it's gonna be with your right hand and you put bass drum with it. Now I could show you that fill with the country tune we did first or the rock tune, but I really want you to get excited about this. So I'm gonna play this with like a pop punk tune that's at 180 BPM. It's a it's it's moving. Okay, you're gonna to have to have some hand speed. But like I said, you could do this with any genre you wanted, but I really want you to hear this. Here we go. <laughs>
All right, now I fully admit that that was way, way too much for that song, and I would never actually do that, but I did want you to see how far you could push a simple, basic beginner fill. And that, to me, like, those are the things that always made me excited when I was younger, and when I was coming up, and I would see these things that just blew my mind, and then maybe I was lucky enough to talk to the drummer at a clinic or something, and say, hey, that thing you did, what was that? And they're like, oh, it was a paradiddle diddle. I'm like, no, 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 but, but what else was it? And they would say, no, really, it was just a paradiddle diddle. And that realization of like, oh, okay, so advanced players aren't people that play complicated things. Advanced players are people that have mastered the fundamentals. Cool, I'm gonna lock that in. I just hit my hand and it hurt a little bit. All right, so YouTubers, I hope you had a blast. I hope if you are a beginning drummer, I hope you're excited to practice this stuff because it is a lot of fun and you will have three very useful fills for the rest of your life. But until next time, go practice.